Key here. Here we go. So with that in mind, what are your thoughts as we look towards the upcoming uh, Outlaw Midget season? So my thoughts, I'm excited to get back in the car and to chase down my son, Mike Bradley. I got some scores to settle. <laughs> <laughs> I got beat too many times by my son. I got to make it up now. <laughs> I, 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 we were talking about that and he was saying there's like, you know, pride in like, you know, being able to beat you. So the whole inner father son rivalry with the club is always fun to watch too. Oh, it's amazing. Between me and my son and then the Millmans and then you got the two Bradley brothers. Yep. Uh, it, it's amazing. The family part of the, the club. Yeah. <laughs> what are your um, thoughts? Oh, go ahead. Because when he goes by me, I'm actually cheering for him as I'm driving the car. I'm like, go get him, go get him. <laughs> what are your thoughts as you look back on last season? Um, yeah, it, was, it was an okay season. Uh, for me, we had we had ups and downs. We had a brand new motor in the car. It was re, had rebuilt. Uh, Jessica James redid it for me. Right. Um, but I had a few issues that we had to deal with and then just a few little breakdowns. So there's a lot of stuff I want to redo this year. <laughs> no, I, I, I totally understand. And that kind of leads into my next question. And what do you feel that you need to do better so that this year is more successful? Maintenance. I think, yeah. maintenance, I mean, I've known that all along. Mm -hmm. Maintenance is huge on these things it's the little things you know taking the plastics off the motor blowing out any dirt and dust that gets in there keeps the temperature down right a little bit of tweak here clean a little bit of stuff off of here i had a leak around the carburetors but didn't realize it but couldn't figure out where why it wasn't running right yeah but if i would have did a little more maintenance i would have found out so Fair. Just, just little things like but I mean, little little cars, little difference in speed between one competitor to the next, and that because now we're talking, we're down to tens and hundreds. It seems some weekends. Oh yeah, well, the guy told me one time, Jody Bound, one of the mm. best that we have in the club. He said, "You're only one tenth of a second off my speed, but you take one tenth of a second over ten laps, and it's one second at eighty miles an hour, seventy five miles an hour. Yeah, that's that's a big gap." Mm -hmm. so, yeah, every tenth of a second counts on these. What track are you most excited to get to on the 2024 schedule? <laughs> <laughs> I was bugging me about this one because she's like, you guys all say the same thing. You like one track, but you like this track, and you like that track. <laughs> um, I'm tossed between Sobble okay. and actually Full Throttle Varney. Mm. Arnie was my home track growing up, so right. I'm always a sweet spot for that. It's very technical track for our cars, especially. It's it's rough, it's bumpy, but there is ways around it, and you just have to work and find that spot. So it makes it more challenging. And then when you got four or five guys coming off a corner, all going for a top spot, and you're sitting in the fifth watching the top four guys, and they're bouncing all over, and you're just like. It, there's a there's an an excitement to it that's just, yeah so it, it has a thrill to it just driving the cars I, I you're not wrong i mean varney very unique too and that it's a bull ring and that so it gives a whole different sense of racing compared to probably any other track in the province well and with our cars when you go down the back straight and turn into turn four or into turn three yeah we actually zero gravity our cars will actually come off the ground when you when you hit the corner right yeah the cars are <laughs> and the car and do your turn kind of all at the same time right yeah it's it's amazing the way that dip is coming in the three <clears throat> so what is it about the outlaw midgets that keeps bringing you back every single year the thrill of the speed um they're frustrating right what other group do you really know other than 
like the pro midgets that you can take your motor out, set it on your bench, do work to it. I'm in a one car garage. Yeah. A car's here, the snowblower is parked in front of it. You can work on them almost anywhere. Yeah. I pull my car with my car. I but yeah, know. yeah, I've, yeah, we see that each week. So it makes it so affordable for anyone who wants to get in it. You can pull them with anything. Right. So, and then the thrill. I mean, for the same speed that we get, limited late model, I mean, you're doing 75 miles an hour at places like Sunset. Mm -hmm. An inch and a half off the ground at 75 miles an hour, <laughs> that's thrill. Like, it's, it's amazing, the speed. And the, the acceleration, when they take off, they, they go quick. Yeah. yeah. What's been your most memorable moment of your career so far with the Outlaw Midgets? I would say Sunset Velocity last year. I think it was Velocity was our first race last year. Finishing on the podium with my son. I was second. He was third. Yep. At Sobel, it was the other way around. We had one at Sobel. He was second. I was third. Yeah. Those two were very important to me. That was a big thing. So budget aside, if there was anything else in there in motorsports that you could try and everybody, someone was like, I'll, you know, I'll pay for it. I'll fund it. You know, you don't have to worry about the budget stuff. What would that series or car be? I'd love to do bone stock. Okay. This I've been offered, uh, Jeff Blackburn once offered me when he had two, uh, can am midgets. Uh, no, I, I think the fun is uh, it's all about fun and having that excitement. Not just it's not always been about winning for me. It's been about the atmosphere, the club, the fun, the family. Mm. Winning's important, but enjoying it is. If you don't enjoy it, there's no sense doing it. So bone stock, I think, would be the next thing that I would do. You talk about it with the club. I mean, we've talked about throughout this interview, the competition, as well as the family affair in that where you several family members with each other, but also the family feel across the board. What are your thoughts on the overall health of the club and how it seems in some ways you're ex or expanding every year with new drivers and that even if it may not appear that from the outside because you have others that are moving on to do other things? Yeah, yeah um... It, it, I think the club's in good health. It, like you said, it looks from the outside like we're losing members, but each year we gain back a few members. So as some move on, some come in. I think it's good. There, there's still room for growth, and I would like to see it get back to over 20, 25 cars. Yeah. We, started, we started with Oscar. I believe we were showing up with 26, 27 cars. There was four or five cars going home every night weren't making the feature. Mm -hmm. It'd be great to be able to do that again. I remember that from like the Hurricane Midget days and that, like even before the Oscar days, like when it was the Hurricane Midgets and that, it was incredible. Like just looking at that full field down the backstretch and that. Oh yeah, it, it was impressive when you see the full lineup of cars and they just seem to go on forever. And then when the whole pack of them takes off and you're going four wide, <laughs> five wide times, it's it's phenomenal. The, mm -hmm. the people running it have always did a good job. Um, Tom and Diane doing a good job. They're working hard to, to expand the club. Yep. And uh, I'm on the board of directors now. And uh, so we're just working at it. We're trying to keep it going and make it stronger, tweak what needs to be tweaked, and keep building. That's always good to hear. I mean, that's, that's what you want to see with every, any race series is like keep building and, you know, get more people out. Yeah, exactly. Find who, ways to oh. growing. who would you consider as your racing hero? Uh, I would say I have about four guys that I remember really growing up. Junior Hanley. Right. Don, yep. Senior. And believe it or not, Vito Michelli. We used to always go to the track, and Vito was always run at the back of the pack, but we always cheered for Vito because he was there every week. And it, just guys like that that kind of what I am. I, 
I never always ran at the front. There was lots of years when I was at the back of the pack, but I was there every week and I worked my butt off to get there. Mm -hmm. So it, was, it wasn't just the junior Hanleys. It was the, also the guys at the back of the pack. Last question. As we look at this whole talk of growth and that, what would be a piece of advice for rookies or drivers that are looking to get involved with the midgets? Advice for them? Yeah. Um, seriously, take a look at the club because it is it is worth getting into. Uh, Money-wise, again, it's it looks expensive at the out, but you can buy one of these things, $6,000, $6,500, race ready to go. Yeah. And with lots of spare parts. So, and there's actually some good deals out there right now. Take a look at them. Get in, try it out if they'll let you take it for a drive. Try it out because the speed wise, the going into the corners, it's it's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right.